What is going on YouTube? Welcome to Kyoto, Japan. Uh, today I've got a bunch of cool things that we're gonna go ahead and go check out. The first thing that I'm gonna go do is go see some monkeys at the top of a mountain here in Kyoto, Japan. Uh, it's about a mile hike up, I think. It's the Arayashiyama Monkey Park. I probably butchered the pronunciation on that. Before we go see the monkeys, I wanna walk you through this little town that they have. Uh, it's at the bottom of the mountain, surrounds this big, huge lake. Like one of the biggest lakes in Japan. We're about to cross a bridge and I can kind of show you, but this is only a little teeny tiny piece. The lake actually continues for way, way longer than you would think. Um, but we're gonna go grab some snacks, show you around, probably do some shopping. I have to buy a bunch of gifts for a bunch of people back home, and then we will go up to the monkeys. I have no idea what today is. It must be a festival or something here, because uh, last time I was here, it was nowhere near this busy. Like, they have roads closed down. The street is literally, like, let me flip you guys around. I hope that gave you a good idea of just how busy it is, because it is absolutely packed, and it was nothing like this last time I came. As a matter of fact, last time I came, I drove down this street and parked right over here. Uh, so I'm not sure what's going on. Let's go ahead, get some cool souvenirs, cool snacks, and uh, I'll even get something to give to one of you guys that leaves a comment on the video. Speaking of that, like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. This is the first spot that we're gonna try. They have little potato and wagyu beef croquettes, it looks like. They, uh, they look pretty good. Let's give one a shot. Just like a potato and beef deep fried croquette. Uh, they say it's made with wagyu beef, so I don't know if that's actually true. Go ahead and give it a shot. Ooh, it's hot. It's good, but it's kind of bland. It tastes like just deep fried mashed potatoes with more steps. Uh, but I, I do like it. I am gonna eat the whole thing and possibly walk through a bamboo forest. I just need to find it. Evidently to get to that cool bamboo forest, you have to take a train, the train brings you somewhere. I don't know where all it goes. I did not do enough research, so we are not gonna do that today. Um, but maybe before I leave Japan, we can go ahead and come back. So let's grab a couple more bites to eat and then you guys will finally get to see the monkeys and I think I'm gonna end the night off at a really cool place called Fire Ramen. Evidently the guy is really big on social media. He lights ramen on fire and allegedly it's actually pretty good too. This little store caught my eye. I think this is where I'm gonna go ahead and grab some gifts for some friends. Like I said, I'll also get something for one of you guys. So if you just drop a comment, I'll pick a random commenter, message back and then you can shoot me a message on Instagram or something and we will get it mailed out to you. I did get some things, and I did get something for one of you, but I'm not gonna show you what it is, and you are just gonna have to comment, and I'll pick one of you and uh, send it to you. But it's gonna be a surprise. But it's still pretty cool. Or at least I think it's cool. So now, I wanna try one more thing, or two more things, but they're at the same place. Let's go do that, and then let's go see some monkeys. This is the other place. They make those like crunchy fruits. Um, I've always thought they look super good and I've never had one, so let's give it a shot. Here are those little strawberry things. They're like strawberry coated in this like candy glass. Look really good, I see everyone eating them. Let's give them a shot. The strawberry is phenomenal, first of all. The sugar is literally like glass, but it's so sweet in a good way, not in a bad way. Ah, my presents almost fell over. Super windy. I'm gonna go ahead and finish these. Well, I was planning on just leaving, but then I saw that you can get a penguin made out of cotton candy, so I feel like I have to do that, right? This man is about to pull some sort of witchcraft and turn cotton candy into a penguin. He does it so fast. And I think he's almost done right now. He's got the arms and the nose or the beak. Uh, I'm not sure if it actually has eyes and like the little thing. I think that might just be drawn on for the decoration, but I think it's still gonna look really cool. And there it is. It looks perfect. I got a lot going on right now. I got a backpack on. I'm carrying those gifts in this hand. I'm trying to film and I'm holding a giant penguin cotton candy. Uh, but this thing is adorable. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. I think his arm's about to fall off though. Yeah, tastes like cotton candy. It is pretty good. And as promised, now it is time to <clears throat> walk up to the top of a mountain to go check out some Japanese macaques. This place is really, really cool. The walk up completely sucks. But uh, once we get up there, it's really cool. You can get really close to some quote unquote wild monkeys. This begins the walk up the mountain. Like I said, I did this like a week or two ago. The walk up is definitely not fun, um, but it's not horrible. It's just a lot of stairs and a lot of going up. Uh, it's like a 20, 30 minute walk up. Once you get up there, the views are pretty incredible. You can get really, really close to some quote unquote wild Japanese macaques. They're only like pseudo wild. They could leave in theory. 
God, you ever want to feel out of shape, just go climb a mountain with a backpack full of camera gear. It sucks, but so far, we're pretty high up. And unfortunately, we are not even halfway there yet. We have just about made it. That was a long walk. If you haven't already, smash that like button, hit subscribe, turn the notification bell on. Uh, I try to do some cool stuff like this every once in a while. I don't post all the time, but it would still be cool if you could do those three things for me. Let's go find some monkeys. They just kind of walk around everywhere. Here's one very close to me. See, they don't really care about people too much. They don't really seem to be bothered. They just kind of walk around and do their own thing. But we're basically at the top of this mountain. I'll give you guys the view of what it looks like over there. And uh, weirdly enough, it's snowing up here. or like sleet mix of uh, snow and rain. I love it. It's a little bit cold though. Much colder than the last time I was here. Here's one of them. Like I said, these are Japanese macaques. The males weigh about 15 kilograms and the females weigh about 10 kilograms. I don't 100% remember what that is in bounds, but I can flash it on the screen for you right now. Um, so here's one guy just chilling. You're not really supposed to look at them directly in the eyes. Uh, they take that as like a sign of offense or like an aggression sign. There's a lot more than just that one guy here. So this was one of my favorite things about coming up here is that it's just really peaceful here. Like there is a lot of people if you look around, like there's a decent amount of people, but no one's like running around, no one's yelling. The monkeys are just walking everywhere, doing their own thing. And then once we get up and go over here, the view is absolutely insane. This is all Kyoto City and if you can see like right here, all that in the sky is actually the snow that I was just talking about, but this is the absolute mammoth view you have of Kyoto. So cool. This is a pretty cool little area. You can actually go inside this building right here and uh, feed the monkeys through the grates. They don't want you to feed them like out in the general area because they will get kind of crazy. We'll go in there in a second and you can actually stick your hands through, feed them bananas and peanuts. There was just a little baby, but I just missed him. Uh, the last time I was here, I got some amazing pictures that I'll throw up on the screen for you guys to check out. They were super, super cool, but I had my big lens with me. This guy checking this little one. It's not a baby quite, or not quite a baby, but He's checking him for bugs. Let's go inside and let's go feed some monkeys. If for some reason you were ever curious what a monkey poop looked like, well, there you go. Just like human poop. Last time I was here, I fed them bananas, but this time I guess it's peanut. They kind of try to diversify their diet so they're not getting the same thing over and over again, but there's one monkey sitting right here. And let's feed this guy some peanuts. Fighting, they're not kind of mean to each other. There you go, buddy. It's so cool. They literally come right up and just grab them right out of your hands. What's up, pal? This guy's all about it, though. See, he's got his whole hand through. He's like, hey, dude, can I get another one of those? Hey, go, buddy. No, don't leave. There's a little teeny, tiny, tiny baby right here. I'm trying to get him to eat this peanut, but uh, he doesn't really seem to want it. Oh, there he goes. There you go, buddy. So cute. The last time I was here, I actually took a really cool picture, which I showed you guys earlier of a monkey that was uh, blind in one eye. I'll show you again real quick right now. But uh, that same monkey is actually sitting right here. I want to show you guys. Very sweet. The photo I took of her is one of my favorite pictures I've ever taken in my life. Unfortunately, I don't have the best lens on right now, and I feel like she's not going to want to look at us. Uh, she pretty much sat here the whole time and just begged for food, but she was super, super sweet and one of the nice monkeys. They also have a little here right there for them. These ones are just hanging out by the uh, tents because I think this is where they give them some snacks every now and then. Wanted to give you guys one more look at the amazing view. And then behind us, which I didn't show you guys, is this amazing mountain. Goes even higher, but the monkeys have free range all the way up there. Uh, if I zoom in, you might even be able to see right here. That area is all closed off to the public. No one can go up there. Ooh. Two monkeys are fighting back there. Uh, that area is all closed off to the public, so no one can go up there, but the monkeys have free range of this whole entire mountain. There's a little tiny fence that's maybe three feet tall, and that's all that's stopping them from going anywhere aside from here. Let's go ahead and walk back down the mountain. To end off this video, I came to a really cool place that actually someone had recommended to me while I was up with the monkeys. It's called Fire Ramen, and I actually just had my meal. I didn't want to bring my camera in because I actually wanted to sit and enjoy it but I asked the chef if I could go in and film kind of what makes this place special, and he said yes, so let's go ahead, go inside, and check it out. Okay. 